so many different ways you could look at this. Studies show that it only takes three to five percent to ruin a healthy culture. That means it only takes three to five people out of a hundred to destroy a healthy culture. This gets into our own lives, the kind of voices, the kind of people, the kind of toxicity, the kind of comparison that we allow to constantly feed us. On social media, it's feeding you. Everywhere you go, something is feeding you that you're not enough, you don't measure up to, you're not good enough, you're not, you're not something that you think that you need to be. And all of this is saying so much, but the most important thing it says about us is that the ground of our life speaks. A lot of times we, aren't honest with God. Maybe we're not, uh, you know, we're, we're not authentic before God and we're kind of playing some games and, and maybe we're just being a little bit fictional about where we're really at with things. And we think that somehow we're fooling God in that scenario. We think somehow God is not really catching on to what's going on. But in this story, God never went to Cain to ask him what happened. God went to the soil. God put his ear down to the ground. And the Bible says the ground told God everything he needed to know about where where Cain was at. And it's the same way in our life. We can say whatever we want to say, but God usually bypasses our excuses and kneels down and listens to the soil of our life. And the soil tells God everything he needs to know. And so I'm curious what the ground of your life might be saying right now. I'm curious what the culture, the, 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 the soil of your life is saying to God. Because the culture of Cain will contaminate that spirit of comparison will contaminate your life.